good things come to those who wait and better things come to those who tries hello ladies and gentlemen this is rakesh here after long time i have come back on youtube channel of bright avishkar so dear viewers today i have uh, here with one of our toppers miss indra uh, recently the result of 12th standard jammu and kashmir uh, state board of school examination jk boss and the result has come and she has done tremendously great job because uh, if i am not wrong she has got maybe uh, she has been top 10 of our winter provinces of jammu so firstly i would like to congratulate miss indra for her victory especially in the board exam because many students you know have fear of board exam so today we will try to you know just like uh, know little bit about this fear of exam board especially the fear of board examination how she has handled and how she has ke uh, kept herself motivated for the strategy for the preparation because of her motive because of her time management because of her her great valor and great strength she has proved herself and she has got great marks so firstly ma'am congratulations to you and your family and especially to your teachers who have guided you in every step of your this journey especially in the 12th standard when you were pursuing in your 12th standard maybe the role of teacher how somebody can forget so congratulations to you your family and especially your teachers also thank you very much sir so ma'am could you please uh, tell us about a uh, little bit about you and your school from where you have just uh, pursued your 12th standard yes sir my name is indra devi and i have pursued my 12th from paramount public school one of the best school in our district great i have also heard about it and it's really great school ma'am could you please tell us about uh, what was your merit and uh, uh, how much marks have you obtained in uh, your uh, 12th result and what is your merit in uh, winter provinces of jammu ma'am please could you elaborate us and yes. what was total marks uh, sir i have scored uh, 484 marks uh, 96.8% and i have scored 10th rank in a uh, winter zone of jammu province and first in my school uh, congratulations because you have done top in your school so you, somewhere you are in top list you are in top so congratulations ma'am because this is you know uh, if we want to just analyze the preparation the study uh, it's not a you know easy easy task or easy things and sometimes it's all greek to us ye hamari soch se pare ho jata hai but uh, she has done tremendous and definitely her specs shows everything how she has done uh, because of her preparation because of her hard work she has got good marks so ma'am today i am going gonna ask you some questions i hope those students who have recently come in class 11th or class 12th definitely gonna help your points and definitely they will make their strategy for one year for upcoming one year how they are gonna just compete the 12th board how they are compete gonna compete the 11th standard and in which sector they should just focus and in what areas you have focused and definitely what your message will be for those i would like, i'm gonna ask you some questions so my question ma'am first question is that ma'am so first of all let me know ma'am uh, how how you have managed your time what was your strategy behind uh, you know this result because this result shows you have done a lot of things for this and could you please let us know about your strategy how you have made this happen ma'am i went really that's quite awesome everybody clapping here for you now and definitely you all are happy because of your hard work and because of your result so please could you tell us our viewers and especially those students who are in class 11th and 12th what was your strategy ma'am ma'am main question is that how did you manage how have you managed all the things in the covid pandemic lockdown online classes no interaction with our teachers no interaction with your guide and in one room you have just made it happen everything so please ma'am Uh, so so first of all everyone knows that in this pandemic uh, we have missed a lot our offline coaching offline school but our teacher had tried their best to guide us proper strategies and uh, my strategies was simple there was not such a specific great strategy it was simple i have never missed my online classes and 
after that um, there was not a that much specific time table because i'm that type of a person which is not stick to some any time table so it was just a simple strategy whenever i thought it's a good time for me to do study and so i have make it lemon so it was not the specific strategy so approximately ma'am how much hours did you just give for your study Uh, in in the beginning it was just four to five hours but uh, near near the exams I have increased my study time nearly eight eight hours. So what time do you like to study most in morning or evening or in uh, night? I am an early riser, so for me it's morning. It means you wake up, you you make sun wake up. Yeah? <laughs> yes. Okay, that's great, quite awesome, ma'am. So at least a little bit, how much hours did you give? Like around ten, twelve, eight. Eight. It approximately we can average eight hours you are giving. So it means if somebody will uh, just give eight hours per day for studying. I think it is not standard like you have to give eight hours, ten hours. It ups to you. It is up to you your efficiency. And which means we have to make our time productive. Yes. Whatever time you are giving, you we should be master of one thing at a time. If we are studying one topic, we should focus on that topic. instead yes. of thinking about america and the china what's happening there we should focus on our one task in one particular topic ma'am now what subject do you like the most biology and physics as well oh, okay physics as well i hope you have secured good marks in uh, this subjects also so it's quite awesome ma'am so ma'am uh, how did you manage your online classes uh, didn't you feel bored because uh, the way what we had earlier in offline the you know fun the way the way of time we were having that time also so didn't you just think like that it's not good or didn't you feel that much bored actually i have made up of my mind because uh, it is our compulsion in covid like we have to study online so uh, i prepared myself for online studies okay. and another thing that we have become used to because last year also i have uh, completed my 11th online so it was not that much difficult for me okay ma'am so if somebody will ask you one question ma'am i hope this question will be genuine question and uh, definitely uh, many students will put their comment put their put their put will they will put their definitely their thoughts they what they think about this ma'am if somebody will give you the two option online and offline uh, what will you prefer and uh, definitely i will choose offline and why because it has more advantage than online online we may you know distract ourselves but in offline offline teaches us discipline because online in online it is our ch uh, choice whether we attend class or not but in offline we are born to attend class we have to attend class and we have to interact with teachers friends so i think offline is best okay ma'am when you just uh, listened about heard about your result what was your reaction that time <laughs> my reaction was completely i was surprised because uh, i was uh, i was sure i will got good marks but uh, so did you expect the marks what you have uh, obtained yes, i uh, approximately uh, i was expecting 90 to 95% okay so you got your you just your expectations has proved rightly yeah. okay that's quite awesome ma'am so uh, do you have friends Yes. special friends to with whom you are just share your study plan do you have personal friends do you know the meaning of friends friends means with whom you are interacting every day with whom you are gossiping every day do you have that sort of group no actually whenever i have to discuss anything related to study related to my problems i used to talk with my family with my brother sister so especially i don't have that sort of friends to whom you want to get a, uh, to whom you want to just group credit or attribute of your you know that guidance especially for the guidance because as far as i know guidance plays an important role in every strategy so what do you think uh, your family supported you a lot or your teachers your faculty members supported you a lot actually i want to answer this question with a single word that is contribution because it's all about the contribution we can't give credit to a single person our teachers our because it is a contribution of our parents teachers of our society and our hard work so it is all about the contribution of all the sectors which 
make me it means contribution me. term plays an important role if you get his name because of the contribution of teachers contribution of guide and contribution of family just maybe let you two just on this platform on this you know place where you are standing now ma'am so that's great opportunity and uh, uh, could you please let us know what the things which has bothered you a lot in the covid pandemic is there any specific thing was there any specific thing which bothered you a lot and you thought like that this thing should not be there like anything like uh, first of all screen okay. <laughs> because um, uh, i have myopia so i think this has okay affected me okay. Uh, i was um, in starting i was not that much comfortable with screen i got irritated so many times and another thing is to bond our self discipline because in offline there is a you know a, you know discipline we have to go to school we have to attend our classes tests so that thing i mum could you please let us know because we are eagerly waiting here to and our viewers are also eagerly waiting uh, could you please elaborate a little bit about your faculty members about your schools in some lines because uh, have you seen your result performance everybody wants to know about the school how they have managed and how they have guided you and others also because not you yes. there are many students who have got good marks from that school from what's the name of your school paramount paramount public, public school it's yes, word paramount what a impressive word paramount on the top of iceberg so ma'am could you please tell us about your faculty how they have encouraged your confidence how they have boosted your preparation in the covid pandemic where it seemed difficult for everyone so please could you please tell us about actually my uh, teachers are very hard working they are very tremendous and they have helped each and every student not specifically me but each and every student they had guide us in a several ways offline whenever they get time to guide us for uh, you know strategy related to um, board exams so they have they have done their 110% in guiding us and uh, they never they now they made they never made us feel like uh, we are in online or offline they had tried their best that means you had good will of time you yeah. enjoyed your time yeah whenever i thought i need guidance i used to call well, them i i have approximately just interacted with more than lakhs of students during 3 and 4 years yes. but i have observed one thing many students feel like a burden doing study is a burden on our shoulder they want to shroud their shoulder but they cannot because they think like that we have uh, got a good burden we have got a huge burden on our shoulders uh, they feel like that distressed depressed feel like that so what do you want to say about those students who feel this uh, you know depressed in, because of the study they think like that we have burden on ourselves no i think depression is not the solution of any problem and we have to enjoy studies because Uh, it will work only if we enjoy anything uh, whether it is some work whether it is some profession so if we enjoy it then we can give 100% in it so i think first of all we have to recognize ourselves what uh, we are doing why we are doing and then we have to make ourselves comfortable with it because if we take it as burden then it will become very difficult for us Ma'am, uh, uh, I heard only also one thing. Uh, many toppers do the SWOT analysis. Have you ever done before? No. You haven't done SWOT analysis. No. So, do you really do you know what's the SWOT? Yes, but I think uh, I didn't do it. Should one? I think it's a high time for me to do do this SWOT. That's right time you yes. think. Okay. So, do you think like that in those students who are in class eleventh and twelfth, they should know about their strength? the yes. areas strength the areas where they are well efficient they are well equipped to do they should do swot analysis or not should they yes they should do and i want to say one thing that board exam is uh, i think it was all about the strategy like uh, you have to know the good securing chapters uh, you must know about the topics which are frequently asked in exams and there are so many topics chapter even questions which are repeatedly asked in the um, from the last year so you must be aware of your syllabus first of all you must first of all if you are entering in 12 go through your syllabus go through your uh, all the marking schemes and everything and then just start preparing yourself so ma'am have you made a, you know just let me know have you revised your syllabus completely have you memorized your syllabus 
it's not it's not all about memorizing but i have gone through first of all i have gone through my syllabus chapters everything and then i started whenever you you were studying at that time you instant instantly know this topic is in my syllabus so it means you have memorized whenever you have gone through it. yeah if two or three times you read the syllabus you will definitely Easily come, come to, to know, know. Yeah. okay that's quite awesome man and you can take guidance from your teachers your seniors so do you have specific guidance. mentor uh may expect your teacher teachers and family no or, or from anyone else no uh, i have just my teachers my family members okay that's quite that awesome yes so you have got you have got many guides okay so like how are you if, feeling ma'am uh, please <laughs> let us know about the feeling is really very great and i am feeling, feeling cloud very, nine and i am feeling very blessed and great and happy oh, that's quite awesome you should ma'am because you have done a tremendous job and especially uh, maybe your juniors are also watching you and uh, would you like to say them hi hi <laughs> that's quite awesome because they will feel like the great because of you know you they feel proud now and you expect the same result from them whenever they will do they will just be in the 12th standard or whenever they, their result will come they should make us proud especially because they all are from your school and your school is the one of renowned school in district doda and maybe slowly and steadily it will be recognized in our state and it will be recognized in your ut level so congratulations to teachers also those who have just uh, gave their best who have just given their best for especially teaching for just putting their efforts because uh, due to 2g due to internet problem due to electricity problem sometimes here they have proved their self the result is here and uh, those who criticize teachers the the result is here <laughs> they should understand how much efforts one teacher or teachers put for their students so congratulations to all teachers of paramount public high secondary school and uh, congratulations again ma'am but i'm not gonna just give you let off now i want to ask you the one of the greatest question which everybody asks ma'am what is your message for those who have recently just come in class 11th and 12th what do you want to say just tell them about few lines uh first of all i want to say you that congratulations if you are if you have come in 11th and 12th because these are the years which make your future and where you have to decide along with your studies your career so first of all be calm and don't think like that we have entered in board exam what will happen because it is really very simple exam and you just have to give comfortably so first of all keep calm and just start studying in a positive way uh, take everything positive in a positive way and just believe in your actions that's great ma'am this will help this will help you and just uh, one thing from starting take the guidance of your teachers like they will tell you um, specifically about the because if you are if you want to score good in your ma good marks in board exam then you must be aware of some special tricks your topics which are very help which which are going to be help you in your board exam so take your the guidance of your teachers and just be calm and study with a positive motivation okay ma'am i one question just strike in my mind ma'am do you think like that marks decides your future uh i i don't think so like mass this is somebody's future it's your hard work your determination what about those who are like me um, below 40 <laughs> no i think it's just um, uh, your hard work that's it your hard work and your determination decide your future like uh, everyone is not the topper some may be average some may be below average so don't feel don't uh, distress yourself or don't be not don't get demotivated because it's your hard work uh, it will be your hard work uh, which will decide your future your determination towards your goal not your marks so just keep a uh, positive thinking in your mind and just fight you have spoken one word future man so uh, i'm asking you the one question more because there are endless question which i want to ask you because uh, very just feeling very grateful to having your conversation you. having conversation with you man what's your future goal man could you please and could you please uh, tell us about tell us about your future goals to our viewers um, have you uh, thought completely or not please actually uh, i have i have thought about it and i think i have chosen the medical field so i want to go in it 
So would you like to just take contribution of your family in making your future strategy? How, in which yes, definitely like because family plays an important role in your career building. So definitely I would like to um, uh, talk with my parents or with my siblings or with my anyone who can guide me. So I would like to talk with them because family play a very important role. They support you. And they are just the backbone. They stand like a backbone with you. So I think there be must. They, this is must you to talk okay. with your parents. The contribution should be taken from our definitely, parents, definitely. from teachers, especially because yes. they know well. Okay, ma'am. So have like, you ever uh, just have you ever taken tuitions? Yes, I have taken. So in COVID nineteen, there where there was everybody was locked. Everything was locked in, uh, and and tuitions was closed completely. Coaching centers was closed completely. How did you? Uh, like in the beginning of March, schools were uh, open, so uh, th okay. that time I have taken, but uh, otherwise it was online, online mode. So you gave complete uh, study hours to your school classes? Yes, yes, I never missed any. And classes. how they were taking classes? Classes were going professionally? Great uh, or? Classes are going through the Zoom app or Google Meet. Okay, ma'am. So thanks for just uh, giving your precious time, and uh, maybe you are getting many calls and. Uh, Many wishes and once again from our whole Bright Avishkar family and you are also the part of it because uh, how somebody can forget if you are the member of Bright Avishkar you will come to know and if you haven't gone through in our playlist please go and you will come to know ma'am's playlist there there are many videos where she had just uh, you know taught many students and she will be in upcoming days she will be because the, she is the one of the great pillar of our Bright Avishkar you know she what's your age ma'am it's 18. It's about to or it's complete? No, it's about. about to be 18. Oh my god. Congratulations and happy birthday to you. You yes. should also congratulate and wish her a happiest birthday which is about to come maybe in March. 13th of March. 30th of March. And when after one day budget will get passed and we will take some contribution from the budget to celebrate ma'am's birthday. So once again ma'am, congratulations to you and your family. And dear viewers, don't forget to bless her. And we all wish you ma'am. Thank you, sir. Happy future and best of luck for your future endeavors. May God bless you and definitely we will get next time also the chance to take your interview, ma'am. Thank you very much for having me. Thanks.